Hey YouTube, today we're going to be doing a size comparison between some common ammunition. And the reason I'm doing this video is I'm going to be making a video here in the near future on a rifle that a friend of mine purchased. And it's a very unique rifle and we'll get into that a little bit here a little bit later. But anyway, let's start with this. This has been done a hundred times, but I'm going to do it 101 times. So this is a regular size 22 long rifle just this is just bulk ammunition and i want to show you the size that this round is it's probably you know 30 something grain 22 long rifle like everybody's had a rifle or a little pistol that shoots 22s and this is a normal probably one of the most um less powerful rounds that there is it's a rimfire cartridge that almost anybody has so we're going to set that down there and we're going to move to the next one, and this is a 22 Magnum. This is a lot more powerful round. It has the same size bullet on it, but this thing's got kind of a larger casing to it and a lot more charge behind it. This is starting to get a little bit pretty powerful, but this is also a rimfire cartridge. So, you know, you're going to have some reliability issues when it comes to rimfire. It's come a long way. But as you can see, that's about twice as long as the 22 long rifle. Next one we're going to look at is everybody's favorite. This is a 9mm. <laughs> and this is probably the most common handgun cartridge in the world. And this is a NATO adopted round. And everybody loves these things. And I just wanted to show you the size of a 9mm next to, and it's a center fire cartridge next to the 22s. It's quite a bit larger, folks, around. Next one we're going to show you is probably the best one of all of them. <laughs> this is a 45 ACP round. And this one is a lot larger around than all of those right there. Probably both of those put together would equal one of these. This is a 45 round, and it absolutely dwarfs the 9mm if you look at it. Next one we're going to show you is a 357 Magnum, and this one probably has a very similar projectile to a 9mm. The projectiles are very similar, but as you can see, the 9mm is going to lack the charge of this 357 Magnum. So, this is a very powerful round. This is a, this is a absolutely a powerful round. A lot of people use this for hunting and stuff like that, but. This is commonly used, and I say commonly because I'm going to get the comments in revolvers. I know they make semi-automatic 357 Magnum, folks. I'm aware of that, but this is commonly used in a revolver. Very powerful round. Next one we're going to move to is a 44 Magnum. And this one dwarfs the 357 Magnum by a by a long shot. This one has almost as big a projectile is the 45 ACP and absolutely has a lot more charge to it. If you look at them side by side, it's like comparing the 9mm to the 357 Magnum. It's absolutely huge. This used to be the most powerful handgun in the world for many years until they came out with that 500 Magnum and like the 454 Gasol and all that. But Dirty Harry carried this in the 70s and the 80s, and he said this is the most powerful handgun in the world, and he wasn't lying, and it really was. It's a very powerful round. There's, this can be used like for hiking and grizzly bear country and stuff like that, and you'll, you'll be well protected. Very powerful round. Next one we're going to look at is a, this is just a common 5.56 five, round. So 5.56, five, 2.23, two, two, whatever you want to call it, this shoots in all your common AR-15s. Just a, just a um, 22 caliber bullet, and it's got a large charge behind it. So if you look at it next to a 22, it's obviously a large difference. And folks, these are just extra spare rounds I have laying around. I don't need, I don't need to know that this is a bad steel round. I get it. But I'm just, this is a size comparison thing. There it is next to a 22 long rifle. And here it is next to a 22 Magnum. You know, the projectiles are about the same diameter. You know, the 223 is going to carry a little bit more weight. But that's the charge difference. And this is a very, 
very effective round. I mean, this thing is probably one of the most common rifle rounds in the world right now. But 223-556 round. Next one we're going to look at is a 7.62 by 3.9. And this one's probably, if you do worldwide, this is probably just as common. This is what you'd shoot out of your AK-47. And this got a larger projectile than the 223. But I, th I believe the charge is a little bit less. This is a, see it's got a lot much larger projectile on it. So this is a, you know, a 7.62 versus a 5.56. Larger projectile, very common. Probably a little bit more powerful than a 5.56. So you're going to feel that in your shoulder when you're shooting one. Now, the next one we're going to move to is, this is a 308. This is also a NATO adopted round. This has the same size projectile as the AK round, the 7.62 by 39. This is 7.62 by 51. If you look at the projectiles, they're about the same, but obviously there's more powder and more charge behind this 308. This is another very common round that um, NATO has adopted, and a lot of people use these in like bolt guns, or a lot of people have AR-10s, or they actually make AKs that shoot 308. But very common round. This is a very powerful round. This is when you start stretching things out, folks. This thing. This is when you get into your long range, 1,000 yard range shooting with proper ammo and proper optics and set up right. But this is a very, very, very powerful round. Very good round. So as you can see, we are we started at the very bottom and we've worked our way all the way up. And last but not least, we're going to show you <laughs> a 50 BMG. <laughs> this is the most powerful round in the world, hands down. This thing is absolutely nuts, the size of this thing. And I have a friend of mine that just bought a Barrett 50 caliber semi-automatic rifle. And we're going to do a little showing of it on this channel here shortly. But I just wanted to do a little teaser here and show you next to a 308. <laughs> what the difference is. This thing will take out vehicles, helicopters, whatever you want. This thing is, is nuts. But if you look at this, it's unbelievable the size difference. I mean, this is not a skimpy round. A 308 is nothing to shake your head at, but it is when you look at it next to this, folks. <laughs> this thing is absolutely huge. It takes up my entire hand, if you see this. This round does. So... There's a little bit of a size comparison. I figured it'd be a little fun video to show you. But if you have any questions, folks, we're just having a little fun today. Feel free to ask. I'm not an expert on any of these ammunitions, but I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Thank you very much, folks, for watching this video today, and you folks have a great day.